Hello, I'm Andy Singh and I'm going to use Divinity Tarot Cards, Kabbalistic Tarot Cards to predict 2017 for you, for you coming from Virgo, so you in Virgo. Now, I'm going to pick a card to talk about your romance, marriage and family. So let's pick a card and see what it says. The card faces you, which is a good sign. It, that means that you are in control over these areas, that you are not going to be floundering and totally out of control. You have control. Now, regarding romance, let's talk about that. It shows that many romance possibilities are there, but they are not stable. So you have to change partners or look at a new possibilities of romance as disappointment is also seen in romance. Compatibility is not very stable. There are very lovely periods of going up and being very happy and then after a while in 2017 there's a very despondent period of you coming downhill in, uh, uh, with this card. So the happiness and the unhappiness is shown very strong. Okay. So long term romance will not be very steady for you. Let's talk of your marriage. Now regarding your marriage my worry is that financial problems may be crowding the marriage area. So watch out that financial issues can be troubling you because the sign of Mercury is shown. And also the sign of Venus is shown, which means more expenditure than income. So financial areas seem to be burdening your happiness in romance or the marriage area. So start looking into that and discussing it with your partner how to steady your relationship because of this problem. The new moon is shown here. So the new moon shows that new possibilities of romance are there, but the new moon doesn't stay very long during the month. So the waning or the weakening of the moon will start to take place. So a new romance after a while gets weak as well. Okay. Regarding marriage, be very careful, as I said, financial issues and ups and downs in your marriage area, area are going to be seen a lot in 2017 for you in Virgo, those who come from Virgo. Okay. Now, regarding January, general family areas, it shows the family can be divided, this card shows. And the division shows as moodiness can lead on to depression and that ideas are not being shared, which means each of you, you and your marriage partner or family members are thinking differently. So this first card regarding romance, marriage or family is not very positive for you. Arguments and quarrels can also be seen a lot. So you'll have to work very hard to keep your romance and your marriage areas very steady. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk of some ages for you in the romance, marriage and family to see which is the worst ages and which are the best ages. Now for you in Virgo, if I look at this card, I'm worried for the very young people. That means 25 years old and younger. There it shows a difficulty in romance. The middle ages are also not very steady, but the older ages are more steady. The middle ages are from 25 to 50, not very steady in romance marriage areas, but the 50 above there seems to me more steadiness. Okay, so this is an, another indication for you how your marriage and romance areas can be. Also for general family areas. Now I'm going to talk to you by the way of um, ages. Okay, if you happen to be the ages of 24 or 33 or 42 or 51 or 60 or 69 or 78. Be very careful that the areas of romance, marriage and general family areas can be stretched to breaking point. You must be very careful and also financial problems regarding romance, uh, affecting romance, marriage and family areas can be very critical if you are of these ages which I mentioned. If you are the good ages which I see here, 
from the, pla the that's all about the planet Mercury here that I see the planet Mercury so the planet Mercury says if you are the ages of 23 or 32 or 41 or 50 or 59 or 68 or 77 then you are going to somehow have more control over your romance marriage family areas and the financial areas will be quite steady as well if you are of the ages which I've not mentioned good or bad tell yourself that these ages just have to work harder to get some peace of mind and success now let's go to career business and finances I've pulled a card which is facing me which means you don't have much control about your career business or finances so the card shows firstly the planet Venus which normally uh, translated for you means money is going out and not enough money coming in so expenditure must be controlled and the saving habit of if possible must be also controlled also okay the other thing I see new moon signs on this card new moon signs and that's not good it shows that whatever you start the ending comes quite quickly as weakness will be shown very quickly so in your career a new job and you will find that uh, during the earlier periods of the new job in 2017 many difficulties will be seen okay and if you are in business that the good periods are very short and the longer periods of trouble are longer all right in general finances as i said is more money out than money in so the news for you people in Virgo about 2017 regarding career business finances is not very steady let's look at it that way all right now let's talk about health and I'm going to pull another card and it's facing you that's good news good news in the sense that not the worst of health can be seen okay now I worry about your health if you are a woman I worry about your gynecological areas the card shows if you are a man, of course, then the sexual organs and the prostate can produce some problems as well. So look into that area. I also see here the sign of water planets here because there is water flowing, uh, uh, sort of rain and things like that. And this, if I translate, it can be to do with diabetes. So you may be a candidate for finding out that you have gone a bit diabetic in uh, 2017 and especially the earlier negative ages be more careful which I gave you negative ages be more careful that health problem for those ages I've given are very highly high profiled okay there's not something very bad here that I have to worry so much very bad here but there's also a very dark black moon shown here and that normally means for me depression and a slowing down of activity which can bring depression and this black moon I also seem to think that your digestive areas can slow down and you may have constipation problems like that okay so your health is more or less in these few areas now there are good and bad ages which I mentioned so if you're not of those good or bad ages which I mentioned in all areas uh, you just have to work a bit harder because the general feeling I get from looking at your tarot cards for Virgo is that struggle is going to be seen and rather than uh, highlights of uh, being recognized or winning recognition or winning praise and support the opposite is taking place where blame may also come the cards are showing this regarding colors I'm going, not going to use uh, cards but uh, I'm going to use Kabbalistic Astrology for those of you in Virgo and say that in 2017 I don't want you to use the color yellow as much as possible because it attracts blame, it attracts exposure to risk, it attracts being fooled or cheated as well. So do try not to use the color yellow as much as possible in 2017 for those of you in Virgo try to use the color white as much as possible and the color white will be a color that attracts help in business career areas in romance marriage areas and makes your health vibrant and full of energy as well okay regarding directions now it's a belief that 
all the nine planets used and the earth is the tenth one all the nine planets used are given positions around the compass and that's where they live and so I, I would ask you to face certain directions so that you will face your good planet and therefore get the blessings for the good planet in 2017 and I would give you two directions you can choose from the first one is north east face north east and make your wishes and I hope when you go to your office you are sitting behind your work table and facing north east the other good direction for you would be from west so if you face west you also have a couple of good planets who want to help you so when you are in your office i hope that when you sit behind your work table you are facing west west for 2017 as the calendar year changes a little bit of change happens in all forms because the alignments of planets change as well all of us have to be in 2017 whether we like it or not at any ages in our life we have no choice so the effects of planet alignment in 2017 will have this effects of good or bad on you so face these two directions and even at home in watching tv or sitting down to eat and then your bed regarding your sleeping the your eyes are closed and your mind is asleep so you cannot think so you are not looking anywhere because your eyes are closed so now how does energy enter you and the belief is it enters through the soles of your feet So your bed for 2017 or actually generally speaking for most ages and and periods of time I would like you I would hope that your feet are facing north east which is very good direction for you or west as much as possible in 2017 It doesn't mean that when in 2018 you have to change your bed around no Generally speaking for people in Virgo these are the good directions for your feet energy because it's believed that when you're sleeping energy comes through your feet and helps your organs repair and do better as well okay now it would be good for you to go to Facebook and look me up and we can communicate or go to Google and Google me or to go to my website which is www.andyhoroscopes.com and when you are in there a n d i h o r o s c o p e s dot com and when you are in there there's a button you will find somewhere that says make a personal horoscope and you click there and when you click there you will get a list of things which i will do for you when you consult me you may be in the united states and we can i can you can still consult me i'm in the midst of setting up all the ways to be able to for you to reach me give me a week or so people who are specialists are doing that for me okay in the meantime i wish you the best of luck and for 2017 thank you and goodbye